Hi, this is Kumar Evid, Associate Professor ECE from RFD Engineering College. Today's topic we are going to discuss about QM method of minimization of logical function. So here the data given are it is 4 variable and mid terms are 1, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10 and 11 and don't care are 6, 8. We need to find minimal sum of product using QM method. Now we will see how to find it. So in QM method, step 1. Step 1 is binary representation of min terms. What it is meant by binary representation of min terms? Right? So we have all the min terms 1, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11. We have to consider all these min terms and we need to represent it in terms of its binary equivalent. We here don't care condition also given, which also we have to consider. So I have listed 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here 6 and 8 are don't care condition they have given. So now we need to represent its equivalent binary. So 1 whose equivalent binary equivalent is 0, 0, 0, 1. 3 whose binary equivalent is 0, 0, 1, 1. 4 whose binary equivalent is 0, 1, 0, 0, 5. Similarly, so 1, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 1, 0, 1, 1. So now step 2, step 2 is group of min terms for different number of ones. What is the group of min terms for different number of ones? Let us go back. So now we have listed the min terms and we have represented its equivalent binary value. Now we have to look, uh, we have to look into all the 4 bits. So we need to count how many number of ones are there. So for 1 we have only 1 ones. For 3 we have 2 ones. For 4, we have 1 ones. So now we need to group into uh, the min terms which have 1 ones, right? The min terms which have uh, 2 ones, similarly, the min terms which have 3 ones. So if you see here, so for an example, 1 have only 1 1, then similarly, 4 have only 1 1, and 8 have only 1 1. So now we go back. See, 1, 4, 8 are grouped together as number of ones is 1. So it's binary equivalent. Similarly, 3 have 2 ones, 5 have 2 ones, 6 have 2 ones, 9 have 2 ones, 10 have 2 ones, but 11 have 3 ones, so we grouped into 3 number of ones. This is step 2. Now we move to next step. Next step is 2 cell combination. So step 1, binary equivalent. Step 2, group into number of ones. Step 3, two cell combination. Now we will see what is two cell combination. So now what we have to do is we have to look into so from ones combination to two number of ones combination. For an example, so let us consider one whose binary equivalent is 0, 0, 0, 1. Now compare with here these cells. Compare with 3. Here 0, here 0. Okay. Here 0. Here 0, satisfied. Here 0, here 1. So, okay, 1 bit deviating. So, here 1, here 1. Okay. So, we have to group only if only 1 bit is deviating. Therefore, we can group 1, comma 3 as 2 cell combination. Similarly, we have to see into, we have to look into all the other min terms. 1, 2, 5. So, 0, here 0. Okay. 0, 1. It is deviating, okay, 0, 0, <coughs> satisfied, 1, 1, satisfied, okay, therefore, only 1 bit is deviating, so 1, comma 5, we can group into together. Similarly, we have to group all the other min terms. See, 1, comma 3 is a single group, 1, comma 5 as another group, 1, comma 9, 4, comma 5, 4, 6, 8, 9, 8, 10. Similarly, let us go back from uh, 2 number of ones to 3 number of ones combination. Similarly, we have to look into it. Then we need to group it. Okay. So after grouping, after grouping, we need to find so which variable is deviating. For an example, let us consider 1, 3 combination. In 1, 3 combination, which bit is uh, deviating? So, 1, 3 combination here, y bit is deviating. 
so rest of bits are same therefore 0 0 which bit is deviating you have to put dash in two cell combinations so 0 0 dash 1 see 0 0 dash 1 similarly we will see for 1 comma 5 combination 1 comma 5 combination 0 0 k okay, 0 1 x bit is deviating x bit is deviating so why no z no therefore 0 dash 0 1 0 dash 0 1 similarly we need to follow the same procedure for all the combinations the bit which is deviating whose corresponding variable we need to put dash ok so after performing two cell combination our next step is we need to proceed for four cell combinations so next is four cells combination so now again we need to go back to two cell combination so in this again we need to compare 1 comma 3 with here 3 comma 11 so again we need to see that so if both should have same dash and one more bit should deviate let us look into it so here 0 dash already one deviated 0 0 ok here dash 1 so we cannot group together so 1 comma 3 and 9 comma 1 we, look, we will see it so 0 1 ok it is deviating ok the next is 0 0 satisfied so here dash here also dash ok this also satisfied so here 1 here also 1 this also satisfied so now what we have to do, we can group 1, 3, 9, 11, 1, 3, 9, 11 as 4 cell combination. 1, 3, 9, 11 as 4 cell combination. Then what will be the uh, data we have to include? So it should be what? So here the first W variable is deviating. Therefore this should be dash 0, dash 1, dash 0, dash 1. see dash 0 dash 1 combination is 1 3 9 11 similarly we will see other combination 8 9 10 11 go back so 8 9 1 so let us see 8 9 1 and here also 1 okay satisfied so 0 0 satisfied so here 8 9 0 Okay, 890. So here, sorry, we will look, uh, we'll go back. What is the combination? 8, 9, 10, 11. Sorry, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have to compare 8, 9, 10, 11. So 8, 9 with 10 and 11. So here 1, here 1. Okay, then here 0, here 0. Okay, then here 0, here 1. So it is deviating. Okay. Then here dash, here dash. This also satisfied. So now what will be the equivalent? We need to substitute 1, 0. This is deviating dash. This is already we have dash. 1, 0, dash, dash. 1, 0, dash, dash. If you look into all the other combination, so you will not have, you cannot group into 4 cell combination. If you want, you can check into it. Right. Then after uh, four cell combination, right, we need to go for prime implicant table. So in prime implicant table, what we have to include is we have to include first four cell combinations data. Four cell combinations data are what? Combination is one three nine eleven, one three nine eleven. Similarly, eight nine ten eleven, eight nine ten eleven. Okay. So now in our prime implicant. So, if you consider these uh, four cell combination, this should have all the min terms. In prime implicant, we should include all the min terms. So, all the min terms are what? Okay, let me go back. What are the min terms given in the question? 1, 3, 4, 6, 9, 10, 11. 6 and 8 are don't cap. So, which we should not include. So this you need to remember. So, in prime implicant, we have to include only the min terms. Don't care, don't care, we should not include. 6 and 8 are don't care. So, I have not included here. Okay. So, 1, 3, 9, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Now, I have to look into 
through this four cell combination whether all my min terms are covered so one okay three okay i have then i have four so no it is not there then five five also not there nine and eleven are there so eight okay it is don't care nine we have ten we have and eleven we have okay four and five are missing that's why we need to go for so we need to go for we need to go back to two cell combination in two cell combination four five are these three combinations we have four five so uh, here i am having four five four and five here i am having four data here i am having five data therefore i am considering one five four five and four six okay one five four five four six because so in four cell combination this four and five main terms i am not able to include that's why i go for again i have to include uh, data from two cell combination so these are the combination which has four and five so now i have included in four five in your four cell combination so then you need not to consider it from two cell combination okay so now so after writing all the prime implicate so now we have one and five so i put into marking one and five similarly here four five so four and five i have included into mark then four six so i include mark in four but six is don't care so i don't have in my main terms then one three nine eleven one three nine eleven then similarly eight is don't care so i have not included so nine ten and eleven i have included okay so i have put an into mark so after uh, putting into mark you need to check so uh, which cell have single into marks so this uh, min terms three have single into marks so we need to consider this similarly this min term 10 have single into mark right we need to consider this so now this is corresponding to this combination okay and this is corresponding to this combination Okay. Therefore, after putting tick mark here, right? Post combination, we need to put some star mark. We need to put some star. Okay. This is what we need to do. So this is our final prime implicate, but still it doesn't include the main terms four and five. So now what we have to do is we need to go for next step. Next step is reduced prime implicate. In reduced prime implicate, we consider other prime implicate that is 1, 5, 4, 5 and 4, 6. From this, it is very clear that we need only 4 and 5. Therefore, we consider only this 4, 5 combination. Okay. This is the final prime implicate. Final prime implicates are what? 4, 5. Okay. 4, 5. From uh, previous table, 1, 3, 9, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now uh, we need to proceed with our expression. The final expression are the combinations are what? So what are the combinations we have? So let us go back. So here we have 1, 3, 9, 11. So 1, 3, 9, 11. So in 1, 3, 9, 11, W is dash, X is 0. 0 represent X bar. Y is dash and Z represent 1. Therefore, X bar into Z. X bar into Z. See X bar into Z. Plus next. 8, 9, 10, 11. So Y is uh, W is 1. Therefore W X bar. So here there is W X bar. Next combination. W X bar. Then we have included 4, 5. For 4, 5, let us go back to 2 cell combination. In 4, 5, what we have? 0 for, 0 for W, that is W bar, X, Y bar. W bar, X, Y bar. Okay? W bar, X, Y bar. This is our final sum of product expression. Thank you.